All right, man. Okay. What was the yeah. question? Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Give it to me, big dog. I'm ready. All right, so the question was that, um, you know, we, after we do get jobs and uh, we're making profit, um, and we know we're making a little bit of profit, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, everything has the workers' comp, like liabilities. When do we actually, do, do we have to eat up all the taxes on everything else to actually make a profit? Like, when do we actually say we earn profit when we make money? So, um, making when so so one, it all starts with your overhead report. Okay, yeah. so based on your overhead report, will tell you where you where your sales need to be at to cover a profit, basically to cover all your indirect costs. Yeah. So your, all your indirect costs is like your auto insurance, right? Yeah. yeah your, yeah. Um, uh, let's say, oh, well, if you got commercial auto, right? Uh -huh. uh, maybe you're doing fuel separate from each job, okay? Um, um, your uh, workers' comp, your yeah. general liability, uh, your, your, the paper that you use to print, right? Uh, mm -hmm. The salary of your employees in the office, all this is indirect costs. Indirect means that it's not charged to the job, yeah. right? So doing the overhead report will tell you the sales that you need to get to cover all that cost so you can see a profit, Okay. right? Yeah, so, yeah. so once you understand your overhead percentage, then you can actually understand what sales you need to get, uh, how much in sales you need to have to be able to turn a profit. So every job, every job is, is paying for the workers' comp, the, yeah. the, even the ream of paper out the office. Every job is paying for every single item in the overhead, in, in the overhead calculation. Yeah. So if you, so let's say like this, let's say in the overhead sheet, you have to do a projection of 20,000 in sales a month. That's not profit, just in sales, okay? Yeah. Every month, you need to do 20,000, right? Uh -huh. But now your overhead cost is 10,000. Okay. Okay, so your overhead cost 10,000, and the report says to, to, to cover that, you need to make 20,000, right? You're like, okay, mm -hmm. man, 20,000, then I got 10,000, you know, left over, right? To 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 kind yeah. of play with. But let's say you only do ten thousand. Let's say you don't reach the twenty. You only do ten. Yeah. You make nothing. You're negative. Yeah. So so that's what I'm saying is that um. So let's say let's say I have a job and it's coming in and I have money coming in and, I, and I'm able to pay my workers' comp, my general rider and that's okay. I don't know why at the end of the job, I don't know why I feel like I need to buy, I need to have li more liabilities so that at the end of the year, I don't have to pay all these taxes, you know, because it's not, it's not just the job. It's not just one job. I'm saying at the end of, at the, end of the year, why, do, why, do, why, does it, why does it seem that I have to pay those, all, all these taxes, you know, to cover this, to, just to start to keep going my business? It's just that it's, 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 is it more of a loss than a profit? Mm. So I see what you're saying. So basically you're saying, Hey, um, um, at the end of the year, I'm, I, it, it almost seemed like I'm either losing or breaking even. Correct. Yeah. Right. So, so one thing is you, you probably need to charge more. Uh huh. Okay. You probably need to charge more, uh, uh, per job. Okay. So you can see a higher profit percentage. But once okay. again, once again, once to say you do those numbers, you can actually see where you need to be at. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the that's the whole key about this thing is understanding the numbers so you can uh -huh. see where you need to be at, so you can stay out the red 
and you can have that money set aside. So at the end of the year, your accounts, your charts of accounts, the charts of accounts is where money funnels to. Okay. Yeah. So let's say like a chart of account is a uh, uh, manpower. That means payroll, right? So all, mm -hmm. so all payroll money goes into that, that payroll account. Say you got yeah. a vehicle, right? And you charge yeah. for vehicles on your job. Then that vehicle money goes to the vehicle account. Okay. So you got um, um, shop. So you got a, a warehouse, right? And you put aside 2% per job for the warehouse. Then that goes to that chart of account. So you got charts of accounts, right? Uh -huh. That that money needs to be in. So when it's time to pay, you pull out that chart of account and not out your profits. Uh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. And that's why, and that's why when you do an estimate, the estimate breaks down what goes where, right? It tells yeah. you how much labor is. It's going to tell you like on my estimate sheet, it'll tell you how much labor burden is for this project. So you're like, okay, man, this job is $30,000 and I have, I have 2000 that needs to go to labor burden. Mm -hmm. So, you know, once you get paid from this job, as soon as you can, you know, you need to set aside that 2000 that goes into a charts accounts for labor burden right away. Yeah, yeah. Right away. Oh. Right away. Now, yeah. if you choose not to do that, then you're going to find yourself in the situation that we're talking about. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Because, uh, uh, you know, because, uh, you know, the work does come in and the, the money is coming in. But it's just at the end, I'm looking at it thinking, do I need to buy equipment? Do I need to, do, do I need to have liabilities, you know, or, or, or um, uh, something that where money has to be going to and that's maybe where you're coming at with the charge of account but does money have to always be there for us to actually make a profit mm. you know instead of instead of um you know you know because obviously money money comes in but you know at the end i guess because i'm not showing that i'm i don't have any liabilities because i want to get all the money but at the end i i have to pay the taxes of that money of, of the funds that I, you know, have to profit. So, but, you know, but, I, 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 that's what I would come back to with. Why is it that I feel like that I have to eat up all those taxes just to make a dollar, you know? Mm, mm. So, yeah, so you got it. You got, so, so you're going to pay um, uh, on the money that you receive, that you pocket from your corporation, okay? You're going to yeah. pay taxes on that money. But you should not have to pay taxes uh, uh, like workers' comp tax, uh, like uh, um, um, uh, payroll taxes out of your profits. Payroll uh, taxes should be in a payroll account uh, and should be pulled from there. Okay, so you should yeah. be paying money on. You should be paying taxes on the money that you put in your pocket, like kind of like a payroll check, yeah. right? So you should be drawing almost a payroll from your company. Yeah. If you if you're working, you should be drawing a payroll from your company, and then you're and now mind you this, okay, Mike. This is another thing here. So yeah. so when you're growing your business and you work in your business, right, and you're working on your business, right, or you working in your business, it it doesn't matter uh -huh. whether it's on or in. Every job you work, you should be pulling a salary and not just profits. Yeah, the profits shouldn't be your salary. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So, so like long time ago, I used to have it to where, like, I was like, okay, I'm doing this job for five thousand, and I'm going to make a thousand dollars, and I go and work the job, and and I just pocket that thousand dollars, and then I don't, I don't have no money at all, right? Exactly. Yeah. And, well, well, when doing when doing the actual estimate, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I can when hear you. doing the extra estimate, you count either you count yourself as one of the labors right uh, or, or foreman or, or whoever you are on that job okay if you're working that job and you you have a you have a dollar amount just like everyone else have a dollar amount okay yeah. if you're working that job okay if you're not working that job then you put yourself on a salary basis which goes back to the overhead calculations mm. right yeah. but let's say let's say uh, 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 like one of my jobs here uh, in apartments, I sometimes work out there, right? Yeah. So when I work out there, I pay myself $35 an hour when I work there. Okay. 
So I track my hours, turn in a timesheet, and when that 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 when that apartment comes in or, or those cluster apartments comes in, I take my $35 an hour times the hours I work out of it. Mm-hmm. Because that's my that's my paycheck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't I don't I don't yeah. do I don't do profits as as a paycheck for me. Profits is profits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so so basically you gotta separate what your profit is and your salary is. Yes. It's uh okay. Yeah, yes. okay. So yeah. so 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 you should be making so if you work in a job, then if you're working a job, see a lot of times what happens is I say some jobs I work and I want to get paid the high dollar as an owner, right? But yeah. the job can't afford that. So I have to get paid $25 an hour sometimes because that's uh-huh. what type of job it is, right? So I pay myself 25, right? So 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 yeah, that's, that's I think that's the, the issue right there because um yeah, so let's say I do get a job and um you know I already have a number for this job, let's say it can be Let's say it's ten thousand dollars, and uh, it, it, you know I have I have one worker, but sometimes like obviously I am like you said I'm the, I'm working there as well, and I'm right. there for my 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 number. But sometimes I feel like I need to get another guy to get more money out instead of in, uh, you know, instead of making a profit and 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 uh, making my own salary. I feel like I need to get another person. So I, it, it's not reporting a lot. But I need to get the money out, not 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 really in. It's just uh, um, that's why I feel that sometimes it's not really a profit or, or you know sometimes I feel I, I need to get more guys to actually get money out so oh. I can pay that so I, I avoid paying the full price of the taxes myself. Mm, I see what you're saying. So that's where you keep getting the more liabilities. So you can yeah. have the, uh, but dog, if, if you're paying it out, then you're not getting it at all. Whether you're paying taxes or paying it out, it's still going. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so it's not so much like paying it out and, 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 and having it somewhere to go. So you don't have to pay the taxes. Right. Because no matter what, if you're being legit, the more you pay out, the more you're going to, you're going to have to pay taxes on that as well. Right. Yeah. Yep. So no matter what, unless you cook the books, right? And you, yeah. you do some stuff underneath the table, right? Which we do all the time, right? But but dog, it's 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 just a matter of uh putting the numbers exactly where they go. So when you do an estimate, right? Uh huh. There's there's categories for everything. You should be charging for your truck, mm-hmm. you should be charging for your fuel, right? You should yeah. be, you you should be charging for your labor. Mm-hmm. You should be charging for if you're going to work the job. You should you should have a wage in there as a lead person, or if you're not a lead person as a late whatever it is, that needs to be in there. There also needs to be a charge in there for picking up the material wherever you're getting it from. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. there needs to be okay. fuel counted for that as well. Okay, there yeah. there, there needs to be a charge for. Um, 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 and it breaks down into sections. Okay. Uh-huh. Demo, uh, 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 or mobilization, bringing the, you know, getting the pipe from the vehicle to the job site, right. Mm-hmm. On the yeah. job site. And then, you know, uh, uh, prep work. Right. And then, uh, 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 maybe installation. And then after, after maybe one part of installation, maybe it's just running the pipe and then next part of installation, shooting the wire. Right. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. next part is, Going back, tying tying everything in, you know, plugs and and, and outlets and whatever it is, and then go and then there's another thing. So those sections will be sections of your estimate. Mm-hmm. Each of them would have a a manpower to it, right? And labor yep. to la- labor of the manpower to it, and maybe a vehicle, maybe not, you know. Um, also, too, you know, we add uh, uh, travel time in there, right? Mm-hmm. So if you're not counting for any of that stuff. You already got a bunch of liabilities that you're not uh, even accounting for. That's being sucked up. Exactly, and, and I think that's what it is. That um, uh, I guess it's not about. I gotta spread it out evenly. You know, like you said, in, into categories like they are. They they need to be instead of me having to get everything and have to break it off on my own profit and uh, right. You know, exactly, exactly. No, I, I got I got you with you. I'm I getting what you're putting down. Yep. Sometimes that's why we get so busy because we're yep. charging so less. Yeah. 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 Okay. 
And then at yeah. the end, we wind up at the end, we wind up not having no money, you know? Yeah. And you're like, oh man, yeah, I made money. I made money. And then you run the Home Depot twice and that money's gone because we didn't even account for the Home Depot. What, another yeah. thing that we're not accounting for uh, on, a, on a few estimates I see is the uh, sales tax that we pay at Home Depot. Mm, yeah. Right? We just calculate, oh, that pipe is eight bucks. No, that pipe is $8.68. Uh, yeah. And if you're, buying, if you're buying 200 of them, you're eating your costs. Yep. And that's why the, at the end of the job, you're like, oh, man, I thought I was going to make 1300 Why I only have 800 yeah. Well, you had to pay for the fuel that you didn't account for going to Home Depot. The sales tax you didn't account for all for all the material you bought, right? You didn't mm -hmm. account for uh, um, uh, the many trips to Home Depot that you you had to do, right? Yeah. Yeah. So all that stuff adds up, and then we wonder why at the end of the job, like, holy shit, man, where yeah. is? Where did it go? And you started, you started back counting through your head, looking, looking for that notepad, you know, yeah. when, when we need to put it in a system, yeah. you have to put it in the system so you can actually see it. Remember, we're used to working with our hands, man. So, yeah. so we're not thrilled to be getting into systems and paperwork and spreadsheets. And, but if we're going to be successful at this and, and not continue to lose, this is one of the things we have to do, Mike. Yeah. And then you, you gotta know your numbers. You gotta know your numbers, man. Yep. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You gotta know your That's numbers. If, if you don't even know, like look at look at this. I know that I need to bring, I know every month, minimum, I need to bring in forty five hundred just to cover mm -hmm. my overhead. Okay. Yeah. But now that's based on a sales amount, okay? Like, yeah. like, like, like. Once you, what I'm telling you, once I need to go over the, the the overhead sheet with you because that is a percentage that you add to your estimate. Yeah. Right. So let's say mm -hmm. like, uh, let's just let's just do this real quick. I'm I'm gonna show you this here. Because even even this here is 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 um is mind blowing. So we got we paying a guy thirty dollars an hour, right? Yeah. We added the 30%, right? Which added 3250, right? Yep. So uh and then we want to add overhead, right? Let's say our overhead is at 18%, right? Yeah. So that that guy, that $30 an hour guy is now 3835. Okay. Okay. Now let's say um uh, let's say we're doing a labor only job because it if we're doing an overall job with material and labor, we don't we don't never do what I'm doing now. Okay, the only way yeah. we do what I'm doing now is if we have a labor, ooh, excuse me, a time and a material job. Okay, but let's say we pay at 38 and we want to we want to make twenty dollars. We want to make twenty percent on this labor. Okay, mm -hmm. per hour. So out the door. Okay, if I call you and says Mike. Send me two laborers here, man. Two of them. Okay. I got some work for them. You're going to send me two laborers at $46.02 an hour. They take home $30. Uh, okay. Okay. So you already trying for, uh, you know, uh, uh, your labor, your right. time. Right, dog. Yep, that's, yep, yep. that's 16 bucks over 30. Yep. If you don't account for that, some, somewhere that's coming out, somewhere. If you got yep. insurance and you don't account for this, it's coming out somewhere. Okay? Yeah. So that's 4602 an hour that we need. That's our loaded rate that we need to charge for that guy every time, every hour he works. Right, 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 right. Okay. So, so we're making, so this is what we're making. So when you send that person to me, right? Yep. And I work that person, right? So your, your company, okay? Your company profits, not your salary. Your salary is different. Your company profits. You're making $9 and, and, and 20, $9 and 21 cents an hour, uh -huh. right? So both those guys come over here and I work them for 40 hours a piece. Okay. All week uh -huh. long. So that's 80 hours, right? Yep. You just made $736 per hour. Yep. 
profit, right? Profit and overhead, right? Well, no, that's yeah. actually profit only. You just made seventy seven hundred thirty six thousand thirty two cents profit only, because you already charged for overhead. Overhead is eighteen percent. Yep. That's your profit. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Okay. So it, it's just about uh, having those lower rates, um, knowing the the you know your overhead, or even if it's just uh, it's not it's not overhead, but it's the time and labor. Um, has to separate in that you know what you're going to pay your guy and uh, your company has to make an extra. The profit is, you know, uh, 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 what would we'll we'll you say, half of that? Uh, half of the 16? Half of it? Well, it's a it's a percentage. You can change that percentage mm -hmm. all the time, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so, so there's just a few percentages. There's a labor burden percentage based on mm -hmm. the workers' comp percentage that you pay, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, and, and whatever else payroll costs that goes into that. And then there's an overhead percentage, which you have to figure out what that percentage is when you break down what you pay as indirect costs, right? I put, yeah. I put 18% here. And then there's a profit percentage. Now, how I determine profit percentage is based on a risk factor that I deal with, okay? So yeah. I look at the type of job I'm doing. So let's say if I go and work next to the um, uh, uh, Statue of Liberty, right? Yeah. I'm going to have a higher profit percentage than I'm working over here at these apartments because it's more risk involved. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's more risk involved. So my profit percentage uh, changes depending on the type of project I'm doing. Right, 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 right. Okay. But the minimum I want to make the minimum, I do have a minimum, and you have to have a minimum too. The minimum I want to make per day as a company, okay, per job, okay, for like a regular two man, three man crew is 300. 300 to $500 per day. That's the minimum yeah. I want to make. So let's say like somebody called me out to go do a job, right? It's literally mm -hmm. 29 square feet, okay? 29 square feet of drywall that they want me to do, right? Yeah. You know how much I charge them? How much would that be? I charge them $1,500. Right, 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 right. Okay. Yeah. Why? Because there's a certain minimum I need to make. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, you know, you, you're making your, uh, your, your minimum... And then on top of that, you're making your your employee is making your his profit. Right. And on top of that, you have to get your overhead labor burden and yep. labor rate separate. And I'm paying and I'm paying for fuel. I'm paying the and guys. Right. Uh -huh. I'm paying truck. I'm paying fuel. I'm paying yep. drive time. So there's overtime in there, right? Yeah. Yep. 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 All yep. that's yep. calculated in there. And I give them the price. This is it right here, buddy. Oh, Tyrone, right. that's too high. Sorry, man. That's just that that job is not for me then. Yeah, yeah. 